Okay. I think in certain habitats you get zones for different types of moles that eat mushrooms. And this looks like there's a mole eating an amnemia. We get yellow amnemia up here about this time of year, and it could be eating them. But it makes them all white. So you gotta really be careful uh, what you're eating. Um, those don't really look appetizing. But just over here, you get lobster mushrooms. And the lobster mushroom eats other mushrooms. And the other mushrooms they are eating are either a Rushulia or um, a Lactarius. And I'll show more information than I found before on them. Because they are edible. But you don't want to be eating the one that we showed you over there. That's an amnemia for sure. I don't know if it's the same mold or a different mold. We'll look more into that. We'll learn together, as I always say. But there's a lobster mushroom here. Like, that's the shape more or less of a, a lactarius in the funnel, right? But I think lactarius and rushulia are kind of closely related or something. I'm not sure. It's more over here. And those ones were just over here somewhere. So that zone for molds and that, they might be different molds, but in the same habitat. And this looks like the size of the one of Rushulia. The lactarians can get quite a, a bit bigger. Um, but it could be most of them up here, I'm not really sure. And we find, usually in this zone, you want to look outside the zone. Because this lobster mushroom wants to keep the real mushroom, the Rushulia or Lactarius, alive. See, that's a Rushulia shape, and that's more of a Lactarian. But that mold wants to keep its host alive. So outside the zone, you'll end up finding these mushrooms growing and without the mold. And then you can kind of pinpoint whether it was eating Rushulia or Lactarius. And I believe it's only in two that it eats, but we'll look more into that. Thank you. And then beautiful here. Okay, she in. Came man's out looking around for more mushrooms for us. Now, those other ones look kind of buggy, but that looks quite edible. I think we're going to take that home. Um, what you want to do when you do eat lobster mushroom is take off all the buggy parts, because uh, they didn't get eaten like the other mushrooms. And I think people soak them in salt water, too. You can do that. I don't know if that makes them soggy or not. I dried them out, and when you dry them out, all the mugs leave. And the mushroom, if it's too muggy, it will, it will melt. And then you don't use it. <laughs> and if it's not muggy, it's solid. That's kind of what I like to do. But yeah, there's a zone here. Um... Lobsters. That one looks kind of okay. Solid. You want to look for solid. The outside can be cleaned off with salt water, I guess. But that one looks solid. And there's one in here. It's supposed to change the taste of the, the Russian or Lactarius. It's supposed to make it better. I tried it once. If you got a, an allergy or anything to mold, you may not want to try it. You might get your allergies up. Um, we'll hit, link up more information in the description below and leave a comment. Thank you.